<sighs> hey guys, it's your girl Innovative Angel back at it with another freaking video. Um, I literally came to this park to have a very serene, chill, nature sounding video. Um, and I did not think there was going to be hella people at this park at this time, but it is fine. So today's video we are going to be talking about how to change your mindset so in this video i want to teach you guys the importance and the ability of changing your mic mindset from a lack mindset to an abundant mindset and honestly to change your mindset is one of the hardest things to do and it's taken me a long time to do so and i'm, I'm not even completely there yet but but it's not impossible. I was told when I was younger that I was a very optimistic person, but I felt like that was a bad thing because the context of how I was told it seemed as though being an optimist was a bad thing. So then I decided that I was going to be a realist, but uh, your reality can be shifted based on your mindset. So one of the things that you have to do in order to shift your mindset is to condition yourself, right? Just like when you train a dog or a child or anything, you have to condition it in order for it to learn the behavior. So you have to do the same thing with your mind. Now, I don't know if you are one of those people that believe in manifestations and you want to manifest something better for yourself. Say you want to manifest a new car or say you want to manifest self-love or anything of that nature in order to do that again you have to condition yourself and you have to change your mindset to be able to achieve whatever you are manifesting so one of the key things in in doing all of that is using the power of the tongue so the power of the tongue is one of the most powerful things that us human beings have when you speak things you are speaking things literally into existence and you can see this with somebody that says something so for example i used to work at this restaurant and it was lunch hour and one of the servers was like i hate this section every single time i get this section i'm literally the last table sat and i'm the last person to leave and she literally because i feel like because she said it and she believed in that that was going to happen to her it's exactly what happened to her because honestly that table was supposed to go to somebody else but whoever was sitting the tables messed up and gave her the table instead so when you are using your voice to say things you want to not speak negatively you want to focus be be aware of what you're saying and even when you're listening to songs and you're singing a song be aware of what you are saying or singing in those songs because literally uh, when you're saying i'm not gonna say it but um when you're laughing and something is so funny and you're like i'm why are you saying that you are not dead you're alive but why are you saying that or you can also say uh, like oh you're never gonna be nothing blah 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 you're talking down on someone and if they believe that in their mind then that's what's gonna happen or you speak death on someone you do not want to speak negatively on these things because it will become um, it will come into fruition you want to speak positively over yourself and you want to speak positively on other people you want to speak life into things rather than taking or speaking death onto things another so in conjunction with the speaking speaking life into things and the power of the tongue you also have to when within with your thoughts so if you are consistently having negative and bad thoughts you i feel like you have to sit with the thought see where it came from see what it led to that and then dismiss it and try to turn that thought into something positive so say if you are sitting there and you believe that you don't look good 
you hate the way you look you hate the way your nails look you hate the way that your hair looks you literally need to sit there and be like why oh it's because i'm insecure about x y and z okay why it's because i compare myself to x y and z okay why am i comparing myself to these people that have different standards than i am like when you compare yourself to a celebrity that has all these people that are working on them because they're a brand and they have to be looking this certain way in order to sell whatever you're not them stop comparing yourself to someone when you have these negative thoughts sit there and try to change it because once you start changing your negative thoughts to positive thoughts that's when you're going to be able to be able to say these things more positively about yourself so once you stop saying i hate the way my body looks i hate the way my hair looks i hate the way my face looks i hate the way that this looks like that and you start being like you know what i love myself i love love how I look today. I love how much effort I put into my hair. I love how much effort I put into my makeup. I look good. Yeah, I may not have the fattest ass, but it's my ass and my ass looks great. <laughs> Another important thing into changing your mindset is to believe that good things can and will happen for you. If you believe that, okay, everything um, that down the line something good or happy can happen for you and you believe that good things can come whether or not you're in a bad moment, then literally that's another form of manifestation that's another form of changing your mindset believing yourself conditioning yourself that yes i am capable and i am able to have good things happen for myself another aspect that i believe is very important when it comes to changing your mindset is to protect yourself from negative energy and from negative people because there are people in this life in your life that can literally be like energy trainers that can literally be so negative and just see that you're radiating positivity you're seeing change you're happy and they want some of that and so they're gonna try to take it they're going to try to be negative to get you to feed off of their negativity and it's like have you ever had um, a situation with someone and you go and every time you talk to them it's always something bad it's always something drama some negativity some they need this they need that and you just feel drained after you get off the phone with them you have to start protecting yourself from that person you have to start creating space you have to start creating distance and realize that it's important to try to keep yourself around positive like-minded people and to not feed into negative energy and know that okay i have positive energy i have this great aura i don't want to have it drained by x y and z i know i can help these people but i know that i need to create some sort of distance because at the end of the day you don't want them draining all of your positive energy and creating a negative being from that the mindset change it's also important to keep in mind that everything happens for a reason and knowing that you can't change cer certain things and knowing that okay this had to happen in order for me to achieve this keep in mind that you can or this is a mindset that i have for myself I tell myself every time, even though something bad may happen, that everything happens for the betterment of me and the betterment of my life journey and for me to get to where I want to get. Over this past year, I've tried many times to get my own place and it still hasn't happened yet and you know, I know that it will happen in due time and it'll be everything that I've asked God for, but it's... I didn't get these places because I wasn't supposed to get these places and it wasn't best for this life path that I'm on and to keep this mindset that okay yeah I'm sad that I didn't it didn't go through for this place and it didn't go through for that place but I can still get somewhere better that's not as expensive that maybe I have more room or you know maybe it's a safer place but just realizing and telling myself okay 
even though this may be deemed as negative in the moment, it's going to be better for me in the long run. And the last tip that I want to give you in order to change your mindset for the better is to believe in divine timing, believe in God's timing, believe that everything happens for a reason when it's supposed to happen and can't rush your blessings because you don't want a premature blessing you've been manifesting this thing you've been speaking life into it and you and you speak as though it's already there you already know this is going to happen it may not be happening in the present but it's already happening in the future and i know that when it's the right timing all the planets will align all the cards will be laid out and everything will happen perfectly and in divine timing <laughs> and if you guys have any questions about this topic or you have anything you want to add to this conversation please leave a comment below this has been your girl Innovator Angel for Vlogmas Day 7 and as always if you vibe then please subscribe thank you guys so much bye